Welcome to my passion project, the Wine Find Talks. This is where I share one wine that I love, why I love it, and then we taste it. So, let's talk. The wine I'm sharing with you today is a 2020 Popcorn Chardonnay from Ontario, Canada. What I love about this wine is the concept. It's a new wine that launched last year in Ontario. The producer saw a surplus of good fruit in Ontario, purchased it and entered into long-term agreements with the growers to launch this wine. And it just took off when it hit shelves last summer. Since then it has sold more than 62,000 bottles and the brand is growing. And I think the success of this wine is attributable, at least in part, to its clever branding. Popcorn Chardonnay evokes both a flavor, a food pairing, and a mood. It's made to taste a bit like popcorn, a nuance often found in oat buttery Chardonnay. It evokes a food pairing. Chardonnay and popcorn are a classic match. And even the word and image of popcorn here on the label evokes lighthearted, casual moments. So in some ways, this is a clever little wine that glorifies the simple things, and that resonates with a lot of us. Even the label design is simple. And though it doesn't require you to understand sort of the intricacies of the wine region, good, clean Ontario fruit is used to make it, guaranteed by the letters VQA on the label. But none of that would matter if the wine didn't taste good, which I think it does. Now, this is the second vintage of this wine. The first was 2019, which I thought was very good. But I think this vintage, the 2020, is very good too. So, in the glass, notice the color. It's very golden, golden yellow, like, you know, hot buttered um, popcorn butter. It's lovely. But um, it's also really shiny, clear, and bright, which is important because it, you know, it tells you it's stable, it tells you it's clean, it tells you it's well made. Give it a swirl and a sniff. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is, yes, it's Chardonnay. You're going to get this citric apple fruit, which is there as sort of, you know, a brightness, but there's so much of a scent of buttered popcorn here. You're getting the butteriness for sure, hot butteriness, as well as toasty notes and absolutely popcorn. I love that. And on the palate, sweeps in. Mm. There's a richness here, a sort of depth, a silky mouthfeel, but also a languidness. It's not just zippy fruit. It kind of sweeps in and has some weight there, a creaminess, a little bit of a mouth coating element that's really great. Um, and yet it's lifted by the Chardonnay, the Chardonnay's crisp mouth-watering acidity that you're always going to get from Ontario Chardonnay, because Ontario is a cool climate. Mm. You just keep sipping, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a dry wine. There's a richness here. I think it's to the tune of 13.5%. Yeah, so there's body, there's weight, sort of medium to full body. And yet there's zippy acidity that leaves the palate scraped clean. So I'm going to have a sip, let it wash to the back of the sides of the mouth and see how much my mouth waters because that's how we assess that, that just how much acidity is in this wine. Mmm. Great acidity, lots of acidity. This is Ontario Chardonnay, so absolutely cool climate. It's going to have that wonderful seam of mouth-watering acidity, which this wine does. And what that does is it balances the weight, balances the richness, and, uh, and just, you know, lends this wonderful mouth-watering quality that scrapes the palate clean and makes it food-friendly and versatile. And I'm still getting the flavor on the finish, that toasty popcorn note. That length is important too because length is a hallmark of quality. This is a well-made wine, it's clean, it's pure, there's a bit of nuance, there's a bit of complexity, great concentration, wonderful mouth feel and balance. And it's a kind of wine you can pour, you know, on its own 
with a handful of popcorn, yes, but you could also pour it in the summertime with like buttered cobs of corn and grilled chicken. It's fantastic. That's what I wanted to talk about.